State Senator Lori Berman told me she believes her legislation can save lives. She's hoping her fourth attempt at this will be a success. But a critic of the bill we spoke with fears it would only be used to divest people of their Second Amendment rights. We had to have Parkland in order to get the risk protection order. It's images like these that State Senator Lori Berman hopes to never see again. Enough is enough! We don't need another crisis to expand this bill. Legislation filed by both Senator Berman and Representative Kelly Skidmore would give family members, including spouses, siblings, parents, step parents, and guardians, the ability to petition a judge to temporarily remove a gun from a relative using a risk protection order. Right now, only law enforcement can do that. Why do you think we need this? Why do you think the current law needs to be modified? I think that there are people who feel uncomfortable having to report their relatives to law enforcement. Records obtained by Contact 5 show more than 9,600 risk protection orders have been granted statewide since March of 2018. 590 have been denied. Here at home, judges granted more than 1,100 RPOs and denied only 70. I think it would mean saving lives. Abigail Langweiler, a volunteer with Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, supports the bill and believes Florida's red flag laws don't go far enough. If we are relying solely on law enforcement to petition the court for a risk protection order to temporarily remove guns from someone, I think that's too late. If I have concerns about the safety of one of my relatives, whether the safety is harm to themselves or to others, you know, I'm not going to say, well, let me go file a petition. No, I'm going to call law enforcement. Second Amendment gun rights attorney Noel Flasterstein told me he believes the premise of risk protection orders is unconstitutional. This is going to do absolutely nothing to uh, to protect people from gun violence. And he's concerned that the legislation could be weaponized by feuding family members if it became law. Uh, all it's going to do is bring you know, squabbling family members, relatives, into the court system. I always hear this about the vengeful spouse. That seems to be like the biggest argument. And, and that's why we have a judge. That's exactly what the judge is there for, to determine the facts. This is just going to overburden our courts. It does nothing to stop gun violence. Um, and all it does is probably what it's, you know, really aimed for is just to make it easier to disarm law-abiding citizens. Senator Berman told me despite her efforts, getting this through the legislature and signed into law will be a challenge, as she believes there's not an appetite in Tallahassee for this. We'll keep an eye on this story. I'm Contact 5 investigator Michael Butchner, WPTV News Channel 5.